Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Small Talk Sunday. Pour yourself a cup of tea and let's see what we're going to do today. Hello. Today we're going to have a mini haul. I've been collecting things and putting them in my little dollar store carrier to the point where it's overflowing, so it's time to share it with you. Firstly, we have this deluxe glass cutter kit. Now I just purchased this because it has to do with the project I'm going to be sharing on Tuesday. And right next to it was this cutter for scoring plastic. So that's going to be a perfect addition to my little toolbox. And that will come in handy. Next we have a nice tube of string. You should always have some twine handy for your garden and your craft room because you never know when you're going to need it. And I do have a few projects in mind using the string. Metallic paints, those are going to come in handy. We're moving into working on the kitchen on the build and I'm going to be using some of these metallic paints for some of the little projects. Here we have this wonderful little copper kettle with a lid and it was a dollar. I was very happy with it. I'm really hoping to find a brass one similar to what my mother had, but in the meantime, I found this wonderful cast iron kettle the other day when I went out with my friend Lisa for $4. Someday I'll come across a little brass one to replace my mother's and I'll have a full set. Here we have an odd shaped little frame. I purchased this at the thrift store. That's what was originally in it. I'm going to cut it into three sections, right there and then at the other end, and there are going to be two small fireplaces for the servants' quarters. And if I work it just right, I'll be able to get a third fireplace out of it, out of the center section. And I think that's gonna work out very well. Not too bad for $2. Next we have these skewers. These are vintage skewers. They don't have a high resale value. I purchased these specifically for the figures at the top. The base of the skewer, the sharp end, I might try to make swords out of them. I'm not sure, but the tops I have plans for. I think the figures are delightful. The base looks just like a sword. I even shared that with my son. He thought that would be kind of fun to try and make a sword out of it. But I am going to use the tops for a special project and I think that's going to be a lot of fun when you find out what I'm going to do with them. They're all going to be related with the build that I'm going to be completing this spring. Another ugly tree. One of these days we're just going to put leaves on all those trees. This little bag of odds and ends I found at the local antique flea market and it was $4 for the whole bag. That is a full set of Coke bottles with a matching crate, which was a lot of fun. I can't get into it with one hand. There we go. I thought this was a pretty nifty little assortment for $4. There's a little apothecary jar with candy canes, something that we're going to be doing more of very soon when I work on my grandfather's little store. Some of the items from my grandfather's store I'll be able to duplicate and use in the exhibit room of the build. I'm not particularly interested in that. This little cup stand is cute. I'm going to need to solder that piece back on. And I have some more blue speckleware that will match this. So I think I'll go ahead and keep that set together and use that in a project. This is what I was after in this bag. This delightful little pewter set. Absolutely adorable. I can't believe I got all of that for $4. And I happen to have a tea tray that this is going to go perfectly with for our build. Here we just have more picture frame parts for our fireplaces. So I should have enough frames for fireplaces as of this little collection I'm presenting today. This is just fabric for curtains and dresses that I've picked up for the build. I'll set that aside. I think that's going to make some lovely yellow curtains. These are just some wonderful vintage embroidery patterns. 
I do love them. I do make some of these little tea towels for gifts and I thought these were awfully fun. I have an upcoming project related to embroidery and that will be fun to share with you. These delightful little pillows were given to me by my new friend Julie. She's a neighbor that just moved in last August and I met her very very recently and she was very sweet. She loves teacups like I do and she presented me with these little heart pillows when we met for tea at her house one day. It was just before she took all her Christmas decorations down and she shared with me her vintage ceramic Christmas tree. And on that tree were these delightful little acrylic birds. Aren't they adorable? These little birds were inspiring and so I found them on eBay at this little shop that you see below, Vintage Bulb Shop. I'm going to put the name of the shop in the description below so you can visit and see what their selection is like. Their service was very prompt. I am just delighted with these little birds. We have one more picture frame and that was only 99 cents because it was a pink tag that day. That'll make a nice fireplace. Here we have some wonderful hors d'oeuvre picks. I found these on Amazon. They weren't very expensive. This is one particular design and they are just cocktail sticks. In the Jessica Ridley book, she paints these little plastic cocktail sticks for her sword decorations, but I went on Amazon to purchase some and really it was a lot less expensive for me to buy the stainless steel ones than it was to buy the plastic ones. If you bought the plastic ones, you got 10 or 20 of them for the same price of these, or you had to buy a thousand of them. So I opted for these because they are stainless steel. This particular set comes in two different colors. It comes in bronze and it comes in silver. It's kind of hard to get in there. There we are. These are really charming. My son already took dibs on a few of them. This set, I'm not going to unwrap because there are many different designs, but I'm going to show you an image of them on Amazon. These are actually bookmarks. I am not an Amazon affiliate. I'm just sharing where I found them. You get quite a large assortment for $8.99. Originally this was $6.49, but I was there on a special day so I got a discount. These are wire crimp connectors. They are silver plated and I thought they would be absolutely perfect for an assortment of canned goods and other things in our build. The other canned goods that I made out of dowels, I'm going to shift those over and put them in the little box that I'm going to make my grandfather's grocery store. These I'm going to use for the build. They are a wonderful size and they are an assortment of sizes for various types of cans. So I was just really happy when I found those. Didn't even know they existed, but now I do. If you're considering making some miniature canned goods, you might want to consider these. And now we've arrived at our craft room storage tip for the day. I thrifted this wine rack the other day because for the longest time I have needed a special type of storage for certain things in the craft room. An item like cork is very difficult to store without cracking it, so I thought a wine rack would be perfect for such service. So I hope this little tip has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and tapping that like button helps the algorithm share my channel. Please share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.